Hey everybody, OG Silver back here. Just wanted to say what's up to my MGTOW brethren. Long live men going their own way. Hey, I wanted to share a topic with you that I think you're going to find of interest if you have the ability to open your mind up to like new concepts that may be different from what you have heretofore experienced. This is the sign of maturity as a man, as a MGTOW, as a fully evolved and developed male human being. I wanted to talk to you MGTOW guys about why it's important to participate in athletic events. And I'm not talking about going to like the basketball games or football games or baseball games. I'm talking about actually playing a sport yourself. And it's my understanding that the demographics of MGTOW are guys between the ages of like 26 up into their 50s. And the reason being is you have to get past the age of like 25 to have a full understanding of the bullshit that Western, the Western states have fed us as far as men, as far as believing in this fucking Prince Charming, fairy tale, Cinderella, Sleeping Beauty bullshit, right? That you fall into, you know, you go to school and make good grades, you get into debt so you can go to, to a graduate school so you can have a good job so you can pay taxes and you can get married. So after 2.5 kids later in the house and two car garage, you get divorced. Your wife takes everything, takes the kids, the car, and the house, and you're just like fucking homeless, man. Or living in a one room efficiency while she's living high on a horse riding the car, car carousel, right? Because now you put her in an economic level where she can be fucking a sugar mama. Because that's what's happening nowadays. Women don't have anything to offer other than money can trade money now for sex as men have been doing for centuries. So I want to address this demographic of MGTOW, right? And I want to share with you my studies that have enlightened me to the fact that why it's important for men to participate in athletic events, sporting events. So I'm talking anything from, you know, weekend soccer to, let's even say a bowling league, right? Or shooting pool or throwing darts, or um, softball. They got these softball leagues. In the gyms where I train, they have basketball leagues. They have everything from half court to full court. Me, myself, the athletic events that I participate in, I do these things called warrior dashes, right? And Spartan runs. I find that it's very uh, invigorating for me. I also participate in martial arts and uh, I used to do some powerlifting and bodybuilding. I've retired from those and I've, I've gone into the other videos but the point I'm making is it's important to participate in athletic events because there's three reasons, three main reasons and so we're going to keep simple. Of course is reason number one we all know this. Um, it's important to Take care of your temple. This is the only body that we have. You know, I see a lot of guys, man. They spend a lot of time, you know, changing the fluids in their car, changing the oil, tune-ups, you know what I'm saying, proper air pressure and everything, and put the proper fuel in their car, fuel additives, right? Their houses, they go make sure their houses are immaculate, you know, doing the plumbing and air conditioning and everything. But, yeah, when it comes to their body, they eat a lot of fucking junk food, they don't exercise, they smoke cigarettes or drink excessively. Uh, you know, it's all, we all have vices, don't get me wrong. But, if this is your temple, then it's important to participate in athletic events. So what it does is, of course, the health benefits, right? But here, what's more importantly is, number two, you get to socialize with other men. And I think what happens to a lot of MGTOW guys, you can go from one extreme to the other, so you can maybe evolve from this fucking pickup artistry bullshit where you're fucking always trying to circle yourself with women, be around women. Like, they're so fucking great. Like, they're such a catch. Trust me, they're not. And I apologize to say this, guys, to you on the video. Women are second-class citizens, bro. They're weaker. They're less um, smarter intellectually. And they're, um, they're subject to their emotions, man. They don't have any fucking self-control. 
you know, their emotions are all over the place. They don't have stick to or discipline, right? And they're physically weaker. So I'm not going to go into all this debates because, you know, I got a, a cat in my family who's a Buddhist yoga dude, right? He's all like, hey, you know, man, they're all beautiful. They're all God's creatures. Okay, bro, I'm just talking about the facts. So you take the average man, the average woman, and you drop them off in the jungle with wild animals and shit. Or it's back down to survival mode. 90% of the time, the dude's gonna come out on top. It's just great. But now we're all civilized. We have rules of engagement. That's all I'm saying, guys. So when we look down to it, you want to associate with other men, other human beings who have the responsibility of leadership in our society. Like when you look at our society, the bulk of leadership comes to men. Yeah, now there's more women in school graduating, more women managers, more women bosses and all that. But that's because our society has been flip-flopped because of the politicians and the media. I'm talking about poor human nature. And when you do athletic events with other men and you get to associate with other men, you very quickly come to understand what is your what? You discover the one amazing thing you were born to do on this earth as a man. And once you are born and you have a penis and testicles, then your destiny is pretty much determined. You are not to be a little wimpy bitch boy having women bossing you around and making honey-do lists for the freaking this long. So you turn your whole existence to just being a servant under servitude to some human being who fucking loses 25% of their fucking blood every month and they're fucking hormonally out of whack. So how are you going to have somebody like that be in charge? You know, it was funny when I was in the marketing and advertising, what you do is you target the women and children. And not to get all religious and stuff, but I'm just going to say if you read any holy book, like the evil people always target like the women and the children because they are open and susceptible to fucking bullshit based on their emotions. Whereas the man's like, dude, get the fuck out of here with that shit, man. I'll grab my sword and my hatchet, man, and fucking chop your head. Get the fuck out of here. Women are more susceptible. Like, hey, if you eat this, you will be great like them. Really, man? Yeah. And little kids are more susceptible to little flashy objects. So what you learn in marketing, which runs the media, which runs our Western civilization is you control the kid. The kid controls the woman. And the woman controls the man. Don't be one of those. Participate in athletic events. Hang out with other men. And also, number three and the most important, it gives you socialization. It gives you an understanding that you're bigger than just yourself. A lot of guys um, participate in what's called isolationism. And, you know, on the one hand, I think it's a good thing. I think solitude is good to get shit done, to knock shit out, you know, to focus. Men are more, we, we're sequential in nature, we know, we don't like to multitask. Actually, nobody really multitasks, it's a misnomer. People think they're multitasking. All you're doing is switching between activities. Look it up, guys. But men, by nature, we get shit done. We put our head down and get shit done. And that can turn you into, like, a solitary type of an individual. And that's where the athleticism, athletic events comes in, because then you understand you're part of a bigger group. And this, my friend, is why women have surpassed us as far as like running society and all this stuff, because they're always more of a, a collective consciousness. Women have always had women's groups and support groups on that. Men are like, hey, I can do it myself. I don't need anyone. Which is a good trait as a leader. But we don't realize no man is an island, and we all need someone. So, if you guys like this type of thought-provoking content, it really helps you to think outside of your current paradigm. Then thumbs up to my video, right? Leave me a comment, and most importantly, subscribe, so you'll know when my next Cutting Edge videos are coming out. Because mine are Cutting Edge, maybe not the production and all the fancy PowerPoint stuff, but the actual content that I'm sharing with you as men my brothers, my tribal members. Until next time, OG Silverback out, and always remember this, you 
have to determine what is best for you, not what society says or some dainty little thing with perfume on and some cum fucking puffs or some fucking bullshit marketing media campaigns as marketed to turn Western men into little feminized bitch boys. Find out what is your what, and it will change your life. Till next time, OG Silverback out.